Welcome to the show. Thank you very much for taking the time out and joining us today. So, Stephen Taylor is my name, um, and uh, you honored to have uh, an amazing human being, somebody that I've known for, gosh, Hakeem, how long have I known you, man? I've oh, known you for a quite while, a while eh? now, yes. Yeah, exactly. Hakeem K. Gazim, the Hollywood actor, yeah, man. Hey. <laughs> thank nice you to for, see you, Stephen. Thank, thank yeah. you for having me. Yeah, yeah thank you for yeah. being here. So, my pleasure. It's, wow. Um, where do I start with you and your career here? Huh? Yeah, well, it's been um, an amazing career so far. So far, it's been pretty good. You know, I can't complain. Um, but we're moving onwards and upwards and doing a, a lot of different things. And um, hopefully, your your viewers will get to see some of that in the next year or so. Yes. You know? Yes. Um, COVID has obviously put a, a bit of a strain on on, on certain things, but um, you know, we're up and out there, so it's all good. The entertainment industry is the one that has taken a massive knock during mm, this time yes. of COVID. And um, of course, uh, that has affected people like you and many others. What would you say to that? How, how have you survived? Would you want, uh, obviously, the movie industry is slowly, surely yeah. coming back I mean, to you know, reality? Yeah, it is. I mean, people have, you know, they're being very COVID sensitive and they're yeah. putting protocols and that sort of thing. So f things are being shot, you know, yeah. and... Uh, uh, you know, sometimes things are being shot and then shut down because somebody yeah. has got COVID or yeah. they're around COVID. So that's been a bit of a stutter for some productions. But look, you know, it, you know, they're getting the idea of how to shoot during this particular time. They're beginning to perfect that sort of understanding and knowledge go, and they yeah. learn as you go. And, uh, you know, hopefully by, as, as you know, in the next couple of months, production will really start to kick in again. Yes. And, uh, you know, we'd be back to some semblance of normality. I mean, we won't be quite normal, but yeah. until until or unless the vaccine is, is, is yes. effective. But up until then, it's, you know, we'll find a way of working through it. It is amazing. I don't know if you saw that thing where I think it was Tom Cruise that was forming, I think, not Mission Impossible or something, something like that. And he just went like all crazy. About no, I, I didn't see it. No, so I, it? I won't comment on that. Yeah, he I actually went that, yeah. like all black. Like, yeah. No, you guys must obey the COVID rules. And this and no, that well, thing. he's right. I mean, I yeah, obviously, yeah. you know, because it's, uh, you know, it affects everybody. And if yes. you disobey the rules and flout the rules, you're and not wearing your mask. And somebody gets COVID, then the whole production, the whole production And then so that's he has time a, he has and a point. Money. Of course, he has a big point. So Maybe good, the way that he handled it was not right. But Maybe I didn't see yeah. it, but I'm sure he's certainly had a good point. So, yeah. yeah. So take us back to who Akeem Kekasim really is. Of course, born in Nigeria, but of course, not known for that. You, you travel the world. You lived in the UK. You lived in South Africa. Who is Hakim Kekazim? Uh, Do we really know. know? I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> no, I always think of myself as a citizen of the world. You know, I've been I like lucky that. enough to have you know lived in various places and around the world, and each of these places has had a profound effect on me as a as a as a, as a person, as a man, as a human being. So, I was they all uh, mean something to me, and, yeah. and I've learned from each of those places. So I always feel that I I feel an attachment to to to, to those especially those three places that you've mentioned, you know, UK, America, South Africa, and Nigeria. When was the first time that you came to South Africa? Oh, I came here in 94. So N Nelson oh, really? Mandela was just uh, just before the election, or just around about the time of the election, actually. So it was a very exciting time to be here, um, you know, and, uh, and, to, and to feel it and the optimism of this place. It was the most exciting, it was a wonderful place to be, as I tell people, I was in a revolution, but a, a, a semi-peaceful sort of revolution. Yeah, and uh, yeah. it was great to feel the energy of the people and uh, you know the possibility of a new day and a new dawn and a new country. And people were excited, you know, and some were excited, some were you know, nervous Skeptical, about yeah. it. And yeah. uh, you know, so, but just to be in that energy was, uh, for me, was fascinating. So you came in 1994. You're still coming back in 2021. I know, um, right? What, 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 what? Why did you, what did you fall in love with here in South Africa? Well, I, I fell in love with a South African woman. I know, so I, I know that. that. <laughs> <laughs> Who and wouldn't? I, I mean, yeah, come exactly, on. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. And I have two uh, South African children. I have three children all together. One was born in America, but uh, you know, two were born here. And um, you know, listen, it's it's one of the most beautiful places on the planet, as far as I'm concerned. And uh, Yes, it has it has its problems, but uh, I love it and I love the people and uh, and love what it's given me. Uh, you know, both in terms of you know uh, 
the beauty of the, 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 the of my wife and, and, and kids and, and in terms of the work that I've been able to mm. do while I've been here. So, mm. you know, I've really appreciated it uh, uh, as a place that's helped me develop as an artist. So I know that, uh, I know you hate to talking about this, but like the press, to, uh, adverts, uh, I mean, that there. was... Well, we have to go there, don't that we? That was, go I know, there. it's not it around happened. anymore, no, so it's not free advertising. No, exactly. <laughs> exactly. But I mean... That was hectic, hey? That well, kind of you know catapulted what? you. Even people now, when we walk yeah. around, people say, there's the Fresca yeah, guy, and I'm 20, like, no, 20, man. 20, years later, I mean, yeah. you know what it was, I think, was at that time, again, it was part of South Africa, you know, finding out a different identity. Yeah. I don't think it had a sort of a, a black character yeah. on the screen with that much presence and craziness. And and I think um, that's that's why it resonated so, so, mm. so profoundly. And I'm, you know, I'm very honored that it did, you know. Um, so I don't really mind too much that people. I mean, it's very flattering that people that were around at that time remember, even, when they, even though they were jacket, kids. Right? Yeah, even though they were jacket, kids, yeah. twenty years later they remember that commercial. So it's that was, how many you did? It quite a few, eh? Yeah, I did quite a few of them. Yeah, a whole different bunch of them. Yeah. That was hectic. That was. But that fresca actually tasted good. Did, did I, you I liked enjoyed it? Did it you? Yeah. yeah, good for you. Oh, you didn't like it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> so of course, from there, um, gosh, you've had a. I mean. Look at uh, Hotel Rwanda. Mm -hmm. That was a great movie. Um, yeah, it was uh, sad, I, very hectic. Yeah, and it was uh, hectic to be part of it too. But I, oh, was know, it? I, yeah, but a really uh, a real joy to be. You know, it was intense because I I, I, I spoke to a lot of uh, there were a lot of people on set that were ha ha that were from Rwanda, Rwandese, and that, that were I think in South Africa some of them was because we filmed most of it here, but oh, some of them it? were refugees from there and had gone through the whole thing. So uh, you know, I've spent. Uh, good time talking to, to, to them and yeah. asking them about their experiences. So that was very interesting. I think if you think of a movie like Hotel One, it kind of reminds you of a movie like Schindler's List. It's yeah, kind of the same you're right. kind of... Yeah, 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 you're right, yeah. It has a lot of... It's, a, it's sure, I think we... Very powerful. Very yeah, sort of, yeah, powerful message, yeah. yeah. Um, and then, uh, obviously, you've done stuff like Black Sales, Dynasty. Actually, somebody, I said to them that Hakim is in Dynasty. They're like, oh, then. wait, really? And then they looked and then you were like, you had grey hair. That's right, like, yeah. I'm like, that's a key. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're like, oh, okay. So yeah. it was like, yeah, so you've done, uh, the fourth kind for me was just like the most freaky movie I've yeah. ever seen. Man. Yeah. I was just like, wow. Uh, and you played, a, I think you played a doctor. I played a, yeah, I played a, a scientist, I a think. A scientist, yeah, yeah. yeah. Close enough. Close enough, yeah. <laughs> He's doctor of science. Yeah. yeah. So when, when you choose your roles or do you, how does it work? Do you decide if you want to, or how to? Yeah, I mean, it's partly. I mean, but you know, you you know, you decide if you want to. Usually, in my case, you decide whether or not you want to be seen for the role, or yeah. you know, whether you know, in that particular type of role. And you then haven't you been typecast yet. No, no, not really. You know, it's you know, not well, not really. Kind of, maybe. Uh, it depends on what you think of typecast. No, but I've done a lot of different different types of work, so yeah. I wouldn't say I'm typecast as such. Um, so yeah, you know. I had a great period of playing sort of bad guys, which yeah. I love. But, you know, but, you yeah. know, I wouldn't say, you know, some people say, oh, yeah, you know, but they're most memorable. But yes. I wouldn't say I've been typecast. Yeah. What was the, the Robin, not Robin Hood, Batman, that was Gotham, right? Gotham, yeah, that was that's right. Yeah, that was that's one, right, one, yeah. one episode that you did yeah, of that. I was right, like, yeah. that was a really good episode. Mm. So you've done, like, different things. A lot of different, uh, yeah, yeah, a lot of different TV, procedural yes. TV, you know. Things like NCIS LA. And, yes, uh, I saw that. You won two uh, episodes. Yeah, I, thought, I can't remember. I think I yeah. was, yeah. And then uh, 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 Criminal Minds and Law and Order and, you know, those procedurals, you know. Yeah. Um, as well as big TV series like 24 and, uh, as you said, as you mentioned there, um, um, Black Sails yeah. and, uh, you know, so uh, those sort of things. So, you know, I've managed to mix it up. Talk about some of the people that you've met and worked with along the way. I mean, uh, I was just reading earlier today about that you've worked with the likes of Mickey Rourke. Uh, no, I've never worked with Mickey Rourke, actually. I don't know where you read that. Oh, okay. Oh, no, I know. Yes, I did. Yeah, no, the, sorry. Yeah, I didn't actually work with I wasn't okay. on set at the same time, okay. but we were yeah, in the yeah. same movie. We oh, yeah, that's right. Movie. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right, yeah. But talk about Johnny Depp. You've worked with yeah. him. Uh, I was on set with him at the yes, same time. Yes. That, was, that was amazing. Um, he was a lovely guy. I, I really enjoyed working. And then, of course, what the, uh, the guy that wasn't in Mission Impossible, what's his name? The, the Vince, what? No, no. Uh, Dugray Scott? Or? No. Um, the older guy, the main guy. Um, no, it's Tom Cruise? No. The older guy. Not Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise is still young. He's going to smack us. I know, yeah. <laughs> 
thought you. I don't know who, who, who's uh, who's in Mission Impossible. I don't know. Um, no idea actually. Uh, Donald Sutherland. Born. No. What's his name? Um, oh, I forget his name now. Oh, I know who you're talking It'll about. It'll come now. I know It'll come to about. me. Angeli Jolie's dad. Yes. Yes. John Voigt. John Voigt. Yeah, 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 yeah. He was on 24 with me. Yes. And, uh, yeah, we had a great trip on our 24 party. So <laughs> as we were coming out, then uh, coming out of the uh, uh, um, the theater, everybody was like, "John, John, John!" I was there, just sort of I saw hide, you had a picture hiding, with it, yeah. hiding in behind him. <laughs> and he was like, "Yo, come, 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 push me forward." He got me a picture and took me in his car so we could drive off to the party. Oh so wow! It was lovely. Yeah, he was they awesome. respect that. They yeah. don't like that being bombarded. No, and like, no, uh, it was fine. This was fine. It was a press thing, so it was you know he knew what, okay. what was going on. But yeah, it was all good. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, yeah, I worked with him and various others. Okay. So it's 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 not all about the glam and glitz and stuff like that. Getting into the industry takes a lot of work. Yeah, well, staying in it takes a lot yes. of work. Getting yeah, into yeah. it takes a lot of work. Yes. Um, and it's you know the glam and glitz come after if you're lucky. Yes. You know the parties and the you know the yes. releases and launches. But no, the the you know it's it's hard work. It's yeah. hard work to sort of a when you when you're working. It's hard work. Uh, you know, trying to trying to get work sometimes it's hard work. Just uh, you know, trying to be focused and be in the and be in the zone and all that sort of thing. So the, you know, there's very little glitz and glam. Yeah. You, you know, you shoot all over the place. And you know, I think the last film I did, uh, you know, I was being dragged around in water, being drowned. Yeah. You know, so there's all that sort sure. of stuff that goes <laughs> on. You know. So yeah. Okay. Not great. No. Thank you, Akim Kekasim. No, thank you. Well, pleasure, Stephen Taylor. Thank you very much. No, I love you to be on your show. Thank you. Thank you. So there we go. That was part one of my conversation with Hollywood actor Kim K. Kazim. Watch out for part two as we talk about the One People International Film Festival. Watch out for that. So there we go. Welcome back. Uh, learned more about uh, Hollywood actor Kim K. Kazim in the industry and how it works and some of the people that he's met and known. But now something amazing that uh, him and I are both working on, as well as an amazing group of uh, amazing people, something called the One People International Film Festival, which I'm excited to be a part of, Akeem, as, as you are. Yeah, very much uh, so. It's just, uh, it's just, wow, it talks to everything about, that, everything that you stand for. Yeah, um, I mean, it does. I mean, I'm very excited and very, was very pleased to sort of, you know, be part of the team putting this together, as you know, Stephen. And, uh, you know, the One People's International Film Festival is really about a, a festival that's going to celebrate Cape Town, but also celebrate the diversity, not only within the industry. You know, with all those voices that are not necessarily given a platform yes. will have an opportunity now to be given a platform. The indigenous voices yes. of, of, of various communities, whether they be in South Africa or, or in North America yes. as in the American yes. Indian. Or, or, or in or in Australia as the Aborigines, or you know, so those voices and those films and the, from those filmmakers are going to be given a platform in this festival. And uh, you know, the uh, the big thing for me as well is uh, even though maybe this year we will have more of an online presence than than um, than a, a live presence because of circumstances. Yes. Hopefully, in the years pushing forward, we'll have. Uh, it'll probably maybe be a hybrid, but more of a hybrid, but hopefully we'll have more of a live presence and yes. be able to celebrate the beauty that is Cape Town as well as the beauty of this diversity of film and filmmakers. Absolutely. I love Cape Town, you know. Yeah. It's just, uh, there's, wow, there's no, there's no other place in the world. And I know that um, another actor as well, uh, Texas Battle, uh, he also came to Cape Town and visited and also ended up staying. Right. So Cape Town has that effect on mm. people, you know. Um, and now, of course, coming back to what you were saying about talking about the giving of voice. But now what the good thing about this is it's an international film festival. Now you're giving a voice and a platform to those artists, those directors, those filmmakers, not only to a South African audience, no, but to an international audience. audience. Yeah. There are people that know what these are people in the industry that absolutely know what they're doing. We're talking about Philip Dyers uh, or Philippe because he's French, so I must get it right. Sorry, Philippe. <laughs> um, Philippe Diaz, uh, Philippe Diaz, uh, of course, from Cinema Libre Studios, a mm. chairperson. Uh, Sultan Tazan Ulu, mm. uh, artistic director for the uh, Asian, Asian World, World Film, Film Festival, Festival yeah. for three years. You obviously know Sultan better than I am. You were at the uh, Asian World Film yeah, Festival. Yeah. I was lucky enough to be asked to, to, to become a judge. And, and oh, what's interesting uh, to judge some of the, the films there one year. And what's interesting is, is the, the film festival started um, 
in the same way to give a voice to these uh, different uh, filmmakers from, from different parts of, 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 of Asia. And so, you know, you, suddenly you're seeing films from Uzbekistan and Kazakhstan wow. and uh, Turkmenistan. And, and that's what you, you want know, to see. And it was amazing. Yeah. Some of these films were incredible. And, sure. you know, you wouldn't even believe that they had these amazing filmmakers out there. So see, there's so much talent that, really that is, needs yeah. to be unearthed mm. and, and shown. And that's what this film festival is all about. Mm. Just uh, tapping into the, 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 the unearthed talent. Mm. And there's so much. I mean... Mm. There's just amazing talents, not only in South Africa, but around the world, but mm. more, more, but obviously we're focusing on South Africa. Um, what would you say to up and coming filmmakers? What advice would you give to them? Somebody that's maybe thinking, you know, I want to get into the film industry. I've maybe got a film that I've done. What would you say to well, them? Well, if they've got a film that they've done and they're proud of and it's, you know, they feel that it's, it comes to a particular standard and they must enter it in the OPIF, you know, especially if you're yeah. a local, especially if you're a South African filmmaker and if you're, certainly if you're an indigenous South African filmmaker, then that goes without saying, enter your film. Uh, and it's free to enter for South Africans, which is a wonderful thing. As yeah, well. I love that. Yeah, um, and then, you know, hopefully you get a platform. So anybody going into the industry in terms of wanting to be a filmmaker, I mean, you know, again, it takes a lot of hard work and dedication. And if you have that hard work, dedication, or, uh, you know, you'll, you'll you'll find a way through. So that's what I suggest: is, is work hard, uh, meet your peers, and and, and collaborate on. on on, and, and try and be as brave as possible as in, yeah. in the subject matter and the subjects that you're taking and the filmmaking that you're trying to do. So you not only have worked in front of the camera, but you've also worked behind the camera as well, producing uh, films or series and stuff like that. Talk us about that, being on the other side of the camera. How is that for you? Yeah, I mean, for me, I mean, I don't take, I mean, I'm not in the sort of producing, I mean, in area of, of, of fully trying to yeah. make money and that sort of thing. Really, I mean, when I get a, it's really trying to get stories and scripts I like and I just sort of, it's really about encouraging uh, 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 that and giving your backing, giving my backing yeah. to in that space, you know. Um, and if I need to talk to X, Y, and Z, then I'll make the phone call yeah. to, to try and help get yeah. this uh, product out out there. So um, that's that's where I've been producing, and I, and I love it too because it just means anything I'm passionate about, I can lend my voice to and and, and hopefully help make it happen. So the One People International Film Festival is happening in Cape Town from the. Uh, the 26th, 26th, which is a golf April. day of yeah, April. So we have a golf, golf day. day. Yeah, that's right. And, and the, the event will start from the 27th until the 2nd of May. And, you know, Stephen, isn't that, I mean, the one interesting thing is, is that the 27th is a very significant day for, for a number of reasons. I know. Uh, do you want to tell them you why? You actually look a bit like him. Yeah, well, no, You're I don't. <laughs> <laughs> but, it, you know, so you were celebrating the 27th, which is Freedom Day, I yes. think, right? And my daughter was born on that day. So oh, really? Double. Oh, wow. And then, and then we have... Uh, Nelson Mandela being in jail for yes. 27 years, and uh, there's another 27. It's um, 27 years of incarceration. Incarceration, yes. and, but there's another 27. It's 27 is Freedom Day. 27 years of incarceration. 27th of two. April. And the 27th of April. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so that's it. Yeah. Uh, so it is a significant, uh, significant day, um, and also of course, of course, the first of uh, May is Workers' Day. Yes, of course, day. Workers' Day. Yeah. yeah, as well. So. That whole week, and that's why we chose that week, because it has a lot of significance for South Africa. And uh, it's, an, uh, it's an opportunity for us to all come together and unite. And I think we all need to unite during yeah, this time. Yeah, uh, and, uh, and showcase the amazing talent that we have. And uh, they can go onto Film Freeway. Uh, that that's is the right. way to submit. Yeah. Yeah, um, you know more about that than I do. Yeah, I mean, you know, you go on a film freeway, and there's a, it'll, it's a very simple process. It walks you through the steps that you need to do as a filmmaker uh, to submit your film and make sure that you've got all the requirements there, and you l upload your film yes. and, and press go, and, and then uh, we'll be able to see it and judge it and see whether or not you can, you know, you make the festival. And we'd love to have you there. So submit your film, South African filmmakers. It's all free. Um, so, and well worth uh, doing. This is the first of, hopefully, of many years of this film festival. No, oh, absolutely. It is the first of many years. And uh, one, that, one of the categories that stands out for me, uh, especially for this year and the year that we've had that has passed, is COVID short films, COVID-19 yeah. short films. And I think that there's, we've seen the numbers, we've seen the people that, the, the people that have passed away. 
let's turn that into people's names. Let's turn that into stories. Let's hear those stories. Yeah, and I think that's the interesting thing is having that category of COVID short films. Yeah. You know, and they don't all have to be depressing. They no. don't all have to be about people passing. But what 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 has your journey been yes. during this particular period of yes. time? So, and these can be shot on an iPhone yeah, and. Yeah. Uh, you know, so it's a good, nice little category to have to, to understand the different voices and the different uh, uh, experiences of yes. people during this period of COVID. Kind of like a remembrance of those people, really loving yeah. those people, getting to hear about their story, their journey. Uh, exactly. I think it's important. It's a great category that we added. Yeah, I think so too. Um, talking about filming on a phone, I know that uh, I think it was Modern Family that actually filmed once a whole season on an iPhone. Uh, I did, that wouldn't uh, surprise me. That, know, was, so, yeah, that was amazing. Done, I was yeah. like, what? Yeah, yeah. Can be done. And the quality was good. Yeah, no, it's good. It's so got a good iPhone. Good, technology good. is a lot better now mm. than it was 10 years ago. Exactly. Um, it's more accessible. We can film with our phone or our tablet or whatever it may be uh, and still produce and make good content. Exactly. But at the end of the day, it's also about education and educating people. That's why we also have workshops and master classes as well. Exactly. Uh, tell yeah. us about that. Yeah, so. Um, as far as I can, know, as far as I know, uh, the the workshops and masterclasses are being arranged with various people that either, again, this is either going to be virtual or or, or, or live, yes. depending on the event. Yeah, we are still but, working on the people, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So those people will come either virtually or or, or, or via Zoom yes. and give masterclasses and, and and hopefully pass on some knowledge to those young and uh, inexperienced filmmakers. And I think that's going to be an important uh, component of, of, of this particular festival yes. is those masterclasses and is allowing those uh, 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 those with the knowledge to be able to pass on some of that to some of these yes. aspiring filmmakers. And as we were talking to the mayor early, uh, uh, recently, uh, we, we spoke about the fact of skills development mm. and uplifting because you see uh, people like yourself and many other people on screen, but getting close to you sometimes is not as simple as mm. it sounds. So this is an opportunity for you and people that want to get into the industry to connect, come together, and to learn. Yes, and that's exactly. what it's about, sharing exactly. that knowledge, sharing, sharing that knowledge, wealth of yeah. knowledge, and, and helping people mm. to give them a stepping stone mm. to get into the industry. Mm. And exactly. I love that, that this festival mm. is going to be doing Yeah, it. I do too, yeah. Yeah. So, Hakim K. Kazim. <laughs> yes, Stephen <Taylor. laughs> Um Festival director, I love that title. Yeah, I know. I don't, know why, I've got, I don't know why right? I've got that title. <laughs> <laughs> but you've um, been to many festivals. Yeah, I have been to a lot of festivals, Talk us and I love about it. About some of those festivals, you know, you've been obviously pre-COVID, all of them, yes. um, and you know. They're fascinating. They're, each of them has its own sort of unique selling point. Can is very glamorous, yes. and glitzy, and you know, and and it's a really a. Work, I mean, yes, they have the film festival section of it where you go and see the films and do the red carpet, but it's a really working festival where you know a lot of business deals are made and you get a lot of contacts within yeah. the film industry are made. And a lot of festivals have that side of it. Some, a lot of the bigger ones do. Toronto is a great festival in terms of the local population that they really support that festival. They really go and see the films. Um, uh, and then there's uh, you know the European festivals of, of Rotterdam and um, uh, what's the other one I've been to in, in, in Europe? There's a, the London Film Festival. Yes. Um, but you actually said lines. that the, the One People International Film Festival is going to be similar to the Khan of Africa. Well, I'm hoping that, you, you know, one is hoping that yeah. you, know, you get into a space where it is viewed as the Khan of Africa. So in other words, it's got its glitzy, yes. you know, some of the best filmmakers from the whole continent yes. come as well as from, from, from the rest of the world. It's got a glamour that, that, that only Cape Town can, can offer. And, um, I you know, that's what we've got to build. We've got we all the I mean, mechanisms yeah, in place. We've got a great team. Um, well, let's see, you know, you know, I say that's something that we have to build and we have to build yeah, yeah. in the... the Maybe not this year, but in years yeah, going ahead. And I ahead. think an, an important component of that is, 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 is going to be deals being signed yeah. and, and, and films being sort of, you know, the, the being, films being uh, 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 shown yes. that, uh, that add to that sort of glitz and glamour and, uh, and the deals that are signed for African filmmaking and various other filmmaking and co-production deals and all of that sort of stuff. That's one thing, a good thing about New Metro is that they've come on board and they said that if there are films that they're interested in, absolutely they will look at taking them and screening them. Yeah, there you so, go. so that is a great opportunity yeah. for up and coming filmmakers, filmmakers and I'm excited yeah. about that. As you said, it's free entry for South Africans, so they should enter. Film Freeway or just uh, go and Google One People International Film Festival. Yeah, yeah. You'll find all the details. Be a part of it, 26th of April to the 2nd of May uh, at New Metro Canal Walk. 
That is where it's going to be, the new Metro Cinemas and Grand West. And uh, be a part of this. Hakeem K. Kazim, thank you for your time. Thank you man. very much. And, uh, you know, thank you for your time and, and, and the chat. And it's always good to talk to you, Stephen Taylor. And uh, <laughs> till next you, time. Thank, thank you. you. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Thank you very much for joining us. Make sure that you are finding out more details about the One People International Film Festival. Just go on Google or um, I will get the lovely corner to put some details on screen for you right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> thank you very much. Take care. God bless.